okay uh most of the training records will be kept in a will be filed that's a mandatory thing wherever in the site the safety trainings or the management trainings which might be the on site training in house training in house training comes under the office based even inside the project or outside the project outside the project means the management the top management in the top management the hods of the departments or the project manager sometimes the project managers will be giving some trainings the work related trainings the regarding the procedures and everything those type even the third party trainings the third party training yeah, also will be recorded the, the attendance sheet will be taken the feedback form will be taken and that will be filed with, by two copies one in the safety department whatever the records are useful by safety team those will be recorded with safety team and the remaining training records will be the attendance sheets and the feedback forms will be recorded uh, filed by the hr department those are the proofs for the employment's competency so whatever the employee category it might be any category the for these for their competency and their for, for their training levels and their uh, for their experiences and everything the project based trainings are different and the management the company based trainings are mandatory because these types every company on the every project will be having certain types of trainings that should be done within the completion of the project so that each and every category like from the helper of the uh, project till the project manager will be getting some sorts of trainings those should be recorded for the competency levels as well as for the uh, progress and as well as the assessments also in this case the first point is the proof of employee's competency every project in the previous slide as i have told you earlier that <clears throat> Uh, based on the project requirement the types of uh, trainings should be done and those should be documented those should, all the training should be documented for this only the proof of employee's competency will be there whether he is he has been trained properly in case of accidents or unsafe activities will be cross referring these training records whether he has undergone the training the certain type of training or not and identify when refresher training is needed refresher training is needed to each and every employee because whenever the training gap has been maintained for 6 months or something like that for every 6 months or every one year the training has to be refreshed to uh, push up the employee or the uh, worker or the uh, staff whoever it might be they have to be re they are given refresher training so that he will be customized to this uh, trainings as well as the uh, project requirement so that no uh, when there is a gap between the trainings the same types of trainings because uh, when we will be giving the third party training so in some cases the third party trainings also will be having some validity like 6 months 1 year and 2 years same like that for the in house trainings also we have to be we have to give some refresher trainings to the workers even for the management management means even the engineers also comes as a management only for the project base for top management that's different okay based on the uh, time gap we have to give a refresher training and even uh, in between that after completion of the training it it might require within a span of 2 months also because based on the performance of the worker or the staff the training should, the refresher training should be uh, given once more because sometimes after giving the trainings also some uh, workers or the staff might be doing the repetitive unsafe activities that's why we will be giving this refresher trainings uh, after a gap of 2 months or 3 months because they will be in a mood to uh, get the progress only not to do uh, implement the work in a safe manner that's the main thing for this refresher training 
review effectiveness of training as i told earlier in the previous slides for after the trainings each and every trainings even the safety who is available in the site and you, uh, the engineer or the concerned supervisor is also responsible to have a look at the worker or the uh, employee whether his training is effective or not in the work field and assess progress against targets progress the uh, against the target some uh, the execution team will be having some targets the daily targets or the weekly targets to complete the uh, certain uh, work activity for this assessment will be given and this will be according to the training also because some activities will be based on the trainings <clears throat> those activities have been done on in a safe manner or not or they were they were uh, deviating the safety rules and regulations some in some ways of activities in, in certain activities the supervisor or the engineer will be deviating the safe safety rules and regulations and they'll be uh, doing the work activity in an unsafe uh, way so that they can reach the progress in a short span of time so that we'll be assessing the, these also not even the safety even the engineers and the project manager or the construction manager or the concerned uh, area manager will be assessing the progress ag against the targets were nothing but whether they are doing the, it in a safe manner or not provide evidence in, in investigations in any type of accidents or in incidents which has occurred in the site in that time after the incident or accident has been has happened in the site so the first thing we will be checking out whether the permit is there or not and the toolbox stock has been given and the training records the training records also be verified whether the person who has committed the unsafe activity has been given proper trainings based on his work activity or not and if it's an medical treatment case or if it's an LTI, lost time incident, or it's an fatality. In, that, in those cases, some legal actions has to be taken. For these legal actions, we have to submit certain documents. In those documents, the training records are also one of the document, important document that has to be submitted to claim some legal for the legal actions as well as for uh, insurance and some other types of things was some other time types of claims we have to provide these legal documents this is one of the important the training record is one of the uh, major uh, document which has to be submitted okay any doubts <clears throat> no sir okay and competent person a competent person is nothing but he is qualified experienced having a uh, not a minimum knowledge uh, not a ma maximum knowledge he he should be aware of his work activities he should be having a previous experience in the same activities and he should carry out his work activities with a safe and uh, and should have a good knowledge of his work activities. That's a competent person, okay? And some factors has to be considered while uh, a competent person has been taken into the company. While recruiting a competent person, we'll be having some factors to uh, consider him. In those considerations, the first one, they will be interviewing. In the interview, they will be cross-verifying by verbally. They will be having a one-to-one uh, -one questions so that we can check whether he is uh, having a knowledge or not. And he is having a proper training like certifications. Those are called the evidence of qualifications. Certification should be there for all the 
all the uh, categories not not only for safety or not only for welder all the categories they should have some every company will be having certain criteria for the uh, each and every uh, employee Desig be, uh, for every designation based on that they should be uh, equal, uh, they should have the same qualification based on the company's criteria and the level of training and the professional uh, and the experience how much experience he is having and there some companies will be having written and practical assessments for example uh, safety in safety uh, for, for, for example for uh, take take me as a consideration when i was in kuwait my client has taken a written exam as well as an verbal interview the, that's called an uh, uh, not a uh, it's a verbal interview but not one on one that's in group interview like three uh, guys from the client side and i am only the one guy they will be questioning me continuously for 30 to 45 minutes and we have to answer all the questions if they are satisfied with me they will be giving an uh, this one uh, first to feedback or uh, they'll be giving the approval so that i can continue in the same project or else they'll be, if they'll be rejecting i was not supposed to be in the project same like that for welders or the fabricator they'll be having a practical assessment like for welding they'll be asking at the time of interview only to do the welding test to do the welding for the fabricator they will be to, uh, telling to do the fabrication like that written and practical assessments will be there references or recommendations the previous company references references are nothing but the previous company members names or and phone numbers or the mail ids recommendations is nothing but you know in the day to day life uh, nowadays the recommendations are the more popular one Any doubt in this one? No, sir. Okay, that's I think end of this one. And two more slides are there regarding the first state. Okay, I'll tell this one first state. Okay. Anyone is having a first aid certificate here in the class? Anyone is uh, have yes, the, sir. The, who they I have, sir. Apart from they went there, yes, apart from they went there, you are a safety guy, you will be having that's the mandatory thing yes, for sir. you. I know that. Apart from they went there. Anyone no, sir, is no, having sir. first aid certification? No, sir. No, sir. It is available in St. John Hospitals under Red Cross. There and will be given to one or two days for training. In Kakinada, yes. one or two days are training in Kakinada, sir. Mm -hmm. but, but that first aid training is valid for uh, lifetime. I think so. Lifetime, yes, sir. Mm. But normally most... the important part one, sir. That one. Yes, yes. The, in India, St. John's ambulance is okay, but most of the time, uh, sorry, I'll be comparing most of the time with the Gulf because my, my I have worked one or two years in India only. Uh, apart from that, I have uh, worked for eight, year, eight plus years in the Gulf only, in Qatar and Kuwait. Uh, sorry. <clears throat> Might be here also. In India also, most of the companies will be preferring the third party certifications only because every day uh, as i told you previously for uh, minimum uh, yearly or for every two years some refresher training should be there same like that the this first aid training should be refreshed okay so that the first aid you won't do the first aid on a day to day basis right whenever it's required we will be doing the first aid only that's it and Sorry. And 
uh, for that cause will be uh, most of the third parties uh, will be uh, companies will be preferring the third party certifications only because for if they'll be giving only one year so that after the uh, that one year the validity one year will be uh, we should uh, renew it so that we'll be having some awareness regarding the first aid because on day-to-day -day basis we won't be doing any first aid and we can't assume that every day we can get a first aid case in the uh, site or in our work location for that first to get a refresher training and to be more accurate regarding this for, uh, first aid our roles and responsibilities of the first aid are what to do and what not to do do's and don'ts will be there in the case of first aid for, for that just for refreshing all the knowledge they'll be giving only one year of time for the validity the third party certifications okay devender from where you have done your uh, this first aid training same st johns no sir red cross red cross how much validity how much time one year sir one year for every one year you you are going to uh, renew it right no sir hmm. we are uh, because uh, sir abhi is mahine se is mahine sir main gaya nahi is year 2021 mein baki sir 2020 ka to hai sir 1920 ka okay okay 1920 ka okay uh okay yeah Tell me one thing, what is the main role of first aider and what is the criteria for your project? So that everyone will be getting aware what's the situation, where, uh, what type of uh, client requirements will be there for the first aiders. Do, you, do your client have any requirement for the first aider ratio? Uh, sir, uh, sir, no, no. Yes, sir. It uh, hundred one, uh, one doctor on uh, ah. every 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 hundred uh, worker mm. provide one uh, one doctor and uh, one uh, one first aider every shift day and night. Okay. Doctor means which qualification? MBBS oh. qualification or uh, RM? MBBS, MBBS, sir. MBBS, sir. That's a mandate. MBBS, sir. Okay. Ah, go. Ah. Wow. One first aider. Uh, Only one first aider. Uh, uh, every hundred, sir, how is it? Sir, side ki uh, side me, jo hai, hamare working strength ke behalf uh, yeah. pe jo hai requirement di jati sir. Okay, okay. Sir, abhi hamari hamari jo hai, abhi hamari side pe jo hai, matlab maximum jo hai, tie uh, two fifty se three hundred workers kam kar rahe hain abhi. Okay, every hundred. So, abhi uh, as per, ha ha. Okay, okay. Ha. So, is the or or two three locations hain. So, two locations pe our first aider provide hain. Or, abhi ek ek compulsory doctor hai. Okay. What is the safety requirement ah. for your project? Safety requirement. Safety requirements, uh, sir. Kimla kisko first aid? Kimla first aid team ko leke ya kisko sir? No, no, no. Only the safety team. What is the requirement? The ratio required for as per these uh, workers. Uh, Fifty is to one. Every, uh, is to one. hundred hundred is to one, sir. Hundred is to one means safety officer or safety supervisor. Uh, safety officer. Uh, safety oh, officer okay. and safety supervisor. Mm -hmm. Every huh. Every hundred. Maximum. Okay. Uh, huh. Uh, one uh, one uh, accepting junior manager and senior manager. Okay, okay. Then uh, both safe, sir. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. Or uh, CSM. Okay, hmm. CSM. Okay. 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 Okay, guys. Uh, just for your knowledge, I have asked Devin there that based on the project requirement they'll be having the safety requirement as well they'll be giving some ratios the uh, before the project itself the client will be giving some project ratio uh, they as per the workers this uh, if for suppose if your workers are 200 based on that the client will be giving the safety requirement the first aider requirement the doctor requirement 
and each and everything. They won't calculate some formants or something else. But re regarding this safety team as well as the health team, some clients may require environmental department also. Because nowadays, most of the clients are preparing the environmental team as well that comes under the safety team only. Because our manager will be sitting as an HSC manager, okay? Sorry, I'm just for your knowledge, I'm uh, telling this before I, I would like to start the first aider. Just for your knowledge, I'm starting this, okay? Every client will be having some ratios regarding the safety. Here, as Devinder has said, for every 100 MBBS doctor should be there and first aider should be there. But in some areas, for every 25 persons, one first aider should be there. That record those, uh, the first aider should be trained by the third party guy. They should hold the third party certification and those records should be presented to the client. And based on the work ratio, uh, workers ratio, we have to provide the doctor also, male nurse. If it might be male nurse or the doctor or someone else and medical equipment as well. Even sometimes the uh, workers will, be, if the workers are high, like above 500, the company should uh, provide ambulance as well in the site itself. In case of emergencies, it will be easy to travel or it, it will be easy to transport the patient to the nearest hospital in case of any emergencies. For the first aid and everything, if we'll be having an uh, hospital clinic, clinic will be there. If the uh, this one is male nurse or the uh, doctor is available, some clinic with minimum requirement should be there so that in case of minor injuries, like small burns, cuts, cramps or something else, the first trader will be helpful to recover in the site itself and he'll be shifted to these clinics and everything. Any doubts before starting first aid regarding the competent persons or any, if you'll be having some requirements or regarding the requirements, I'm just telling for your uh, knowledge only, not into, don't go into the depth, okay? Just for your knowledge, you will be getting aware of everything. Any doubts? Nothing, sir. Nothing. Okay. Anyone? Because within five minutes, this session will close and I'll continue the next session also. Okay, sir. Okay. Hmm. If you have any doubts, just uh, tell me now itself. From the six o'clock session, I'll start the first aid also. Okay, I'll tell all the first aid. Yes, sir. Whatever we have yes, to sir. do, and what should not be do's and don'ts. The everything will be having some do's and don'ts while we'll be doing in the site. We have to mainly concentrate on those things. Okay. Devender, kuch doubt hai? Sir. Ravi, Sunil, Shekar, Durga, Ravgaru. No, sir, no, sir. Okay. <clears throat> I think yesterday Ramesh sir has uh, shared yesterday's question paper. Have you seen the question paper? Just for your reference, they have, he has shared the question papers, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just for your reference, okay? The question paper pattern and everything. And, yeah, uh, and one more thing I would like to tell you, all you guys right now itself, start preparing for your project work right now itself. Might be uh, within this month, I'll suggest Ramesh sir to uh, provide the topics regarding the project so that it will be easy. Don't be hurry at the last moment, okay? From now onwards, we, we, uh, you, you just take time for two or three months and you can consult your uh, office side. If you are having any safety professionals in your uh, organization, you can consult them and you can take their uh, ideas or something else for your project preparation. If no one is there for you, we'll guide you, okay? Yes, I'm just suggesting you this thing because 
at the last moment no, uh, we should not be in a hurry for the project submission and everything okay it will be a sir, big clumsy sir. thing ah yes main puch raha tha agar hum jaise hum ye topics project banane ke liye kuch topics milenge kya वही है मैं रमेश साहब को बताएगा ये महीना में आप लोग को देने के लिए क्योंकि आ, ए, ए, एक चीज है मैं रिसेंटली मेरे को हुआ है अभी एग्जाम चालू हुआ ना रिसेंटली द एग्जाम्स है स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द एट ऑन वर्ड्स वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड हु इज माय कोलीग इन ही इज फ्रॉम विशाखापटनम एज वेल ही हैज joined in some other uh, institute and uh, he has uh, applied for this 20 and 21 the, for the same batch for the uh, same batch you are going okay but the institute has done a wrong thing that the previous years batch has some vacancies and they have shifted this guy to the previous the last years batch the present running uh, exams going batch okay that too they have the institute has informed him on first of this month that stating that from 8th onwards they uh, this guy is having exams and they didn't said a single word about the project also he was running behind i have seen him he was running here and there for the project at last he has to pay a uh, uh, amount of 3500 or something to the institute only so that they can prepare this uh, project work for this may uh, reason only i'm telling you guys just take your time and if you are having any safety personnel in your organization you can take their help as well if not we will help you so that in a span of 2 or 3 months you can complete and uh, if you are having any doubts if 